So this department is called Audiology and Embedded Systems. And this is a, a rather large department. It uh, uh, ranges from audiologists through signal processing engineers to embedded software engineers. Uh, our responsibilities include uh, designing algorithms that are to be implemented in our hearing aids. Of course, we support the embedded software team in actually implementing these algorithms on our hardware platform. The signal processing guys like myself are trying to figure out which computations do you need to do inside the hearing aid in order to clean up the sound and present a clear and nice sound for the end user. So to do exactly what audiologists wants. And finally, the embedded systems engineers, they try to implement the signal processing guy's wishes onto the hearing aid chip. When I started in Nordicon, we, the developers, were forced to wear hearing aids for a long time every day to feel on our own body what is it like. And this makes you appreciate what are the problems and it makes you appreciate that these devices need to be worn perhaps 16 hours every day. So you better make it good. During the Open One uh, development, uh, we had uh, some uh, reported some feedback problems, uh, and we had one specific test user, uh, which actually uh, had reported problems when he was using his kitchen machine. What he actually did was that he uh, used his uh, iPhone to record uh, the sound uh, that he uh, had the problems observed then. And uh, from these sounds, we could actually recreate uh, the problem uh, in simulation and we can actually uh, do a parameter tweaking of our system and actually help the end user. It's true, I'm an employee at Oticon, but I'm also a part-time professor at Albury University. And the idea is, generally we want to educate new engineers and new researchers so the sound industry in Denmark can recruit people from. I first came to Oticon about three years ago to start my PhD study, which I have recently finished. When we uh, work with hearing instruments, hearing instruments is generally has, is low powered, so we don't have many uh, cycles. That uh, makes it a bit difficult to get in a very, a very high uh, level algorithm in our platform. It's very important for us to, to actually look all the time at state of the art, because at some point uh, our processing power will be bigger. Uh, we are already now uh, talking with iPhones and, uh, and other technologies and uh, that can actually help us in, in improving our algorithms even further. Whenever you need to approach your colleagues to learn something new, to know how something works, it is really easy and, and they are very willing to help.